White guilt. Let's talk about it. I saw this beautiful one act piece um, that this guy wrote about the talk that he has to have with his son, yeah. right? Yep. Ta-Nehisi Coates in Between the World and Me reflects upon the talks that American black parents have with their children compared to those that American white parents have with theirs. The galaxy belonged to them. <coughs> and as terror was communicated to our children, I saw mastery communicated to theirs. OK, so listen. <coughs> You are a black boy, okay? And, and I, I know your skin is brown. And it is brown, I mean. But in this country, they, we call it black. But daddy, I want to be brown. I don't want to be black. My skin is, is brown. I know somebody can't have brown, okay? Because that's what we used to describe uh, Latinos, all right? And, and remember, don't call them Mexican unless they're from Mexico, all right? And, and don't forget, don't hiss, don't panic. A lot of Latinos don't like to be called Hispanics. If you say Latino, right? Unless it's a female, it's Latina. Or if they don't use the gender binary, Latinx. Or just ask. Uh, how'd we get here? But at the end of the play, that's a whole other story, but at the end of the play, he had this sort of talk back, and he was talking to people in the audience, and he was, he was of the mindset that, like, don't ask me, I don't want you to ask me questions about my blackness or that kind of thing. It was just like, take me out for coffee and just have a conversation with me about whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But, um... But I love the, the con uncomfortable conversations with a black man because uh, as a white person, we don't know, we, we don't, uh, one, we don't know what we don't know. Right. And two, we have a lot of questions. And I guess some people are saying, well, friggin' Google it and do research first right. before you just like, so, but it is hard, like if you have a question or like, can you talk about that? Like, does it bother you if people come up and ask questions about racism or yeah. uncomfortable things? Or, like, where do you fall in there? Yeah, I think it's going to be different for everyone. Look, mm -hmm. I, I think when we talk about sexuality, for example, I know that with some of my friends, I could say, hey, what's your favorite position? I never, I never asked <laughs> you before. Right. And some of my friends will be like this. And they'll just tell, no big deal. Right. But I also have friends that are like, hey, I was thinking about sex. And they'd be like, oh, and, and immediately... <laughs> We can't talk about it anymore, right? right? So this is one of those answers that depends. Right. For me, I don't have any problem with it. It's look, there will be uh, if we if we don't already have one, there will be an episode where uh, there are people who just want to touch my hair, mm -hmm. right? For a lot of people, it is hella offensive, right? Right. It's a horrible thing that just oh my god, I love your hair, can I touch it? No, you can't right. touch it. I don't right. know if we can curse on this thing, we so can't. there might be some bleeding. <laughs> But I've had a lot of people do it to me, and I'm in. Like, I'm totally fine with this. But it's a personality thing. Right. Some of it is, I like attention. I don't know. I, like, <laughs> it could be a number of things. Right. Um, but I also would not be upset if one of my black friends said, if I heard them say, oh my God, I can't believe that person wanted to touch my hair. I'm 100% with you. I totally get why you said yeah. that. But not me. I'm okay with it. So here's a question that I have, because a lot of people come up to me and like, oh, I love your hair, just because it's red, it's yeah. long, right? Yeah. And I see a lot of black people where I just think, and not that I want to touch them, I'm not a, like, I don't go up to people, uh, right. but yeah. I would like to say like, oh my God, I love your hair. Yes. But then I think, oh my God, can I even say that? I don't want to go anywhere near it, I don't want to touch it, but yep. can I say, I love your hair? Like, and then I'm like, I don't want to be offensive, I really want to give them a compliment, but then I, that's where I think white guilt comes in is like, is what and then we just end up doing nothing right right so what thoughts uh here's what i think embrace that discomfort for yourself you will be wrong sometimes mm. uh there are so one of my transgender friends said really uh, just amazing to me try you might get it wrong mm. and if we're good about it we won't slam you for it if you call me sir I shouldn't get mad the first time. You keep calling me, sir. Now we have a problem. I was like, okay. So <clears throat> I say the wrong thing. It's okay. Right. I think in this instance, it's sort of that, right? It mm. is this idea that if you see someone and you think, oh my God, I love your hair. 
maybe go ahead and say it. Right. People have said it to me. I got dreads. It's cool. And someone's like, oh my God, I love your hair. And I think it a compliment. Yeah. Yeah. It might be different if I just, if I didn't have dreads, if I just had just, I don't know what a standard hairstyle is. Right. But right. if we're just walking around and you just wanted to compliment black people hair. Right. That might be a little bit different. Right. But yeah. I, I don't feel like you're just saying, oh, black people hair. I love it. Right. I think you're complimenting the style that I did, and, right. and I'm completely okay with that. I will say that for me, I feel that sometimes there can be, and again, not speaking for everyone, mm -hmm. but I feel like uh, it can be harmful for the understanding that we have for one another if no one can talk about it or, or bring that thing up, right? So to be able to say, oh, I love your hair, or I love your nails, or I, oh, that, I love that outfit, I can never pull that outfit off. Thank you for the compliment. Right. Now maybe we don't have to talk about it any more than that, like okay. now we're done. Right. I think that's totally fine. Right. If this is a lead in to, now I have to have this black conversation again, I can absolutely see why that would be off-putting or worrisome even. Um, it is probably not different than a guy being able to say oh my god i love that dress on you you will thank you but there's a moment where you're like right. how much further is this going to go right, right, what's right. happening with yeah. this i love that dress turn around and get the hell out of there like you right, know right. but i think you're like oh i love that dress oh my god get it like yeah now we're getting yeah. in a creepyville yeah. and quite frankly frightening town right so <laughs> right. so i think okay. there's a lot of that that comes along with this <laughs> Why do black people not necessarily, not all black people, but necessarily want to talk about blackness?